Hey, what's up guys? It's Big Tony, and in this video we're going to be building this big old cottage house. Since this is a bigger build, I'm doing it in two parts. The exterior, which you're currently watching, and then the interior, which will be out soon. So I'd appreciate if you take a second, hit that subscribe button, and that way you can be sure that you won't miss it. Anyways, here's a bit more information about the build that you may want to know before starting this project. So as you see here, there's a water wheel on the left side of the house. It's really just decorative, so you don't have to build it, but if you do want to, then make sure you're building next to a river, or you can dig out your own little stream like I did. Also, my original design has a stables on the right side. I didn't build it here because I ran out of space, but I will show you how to build it at the end of the video, so make sure you leave room for it. With that being said, here's a list of the materials that you'll need, and I'll also put a written list in the description. So to begin this build, start by placing chiseled stone bricks following this layout to build the first layer. And so this is what it should look like. And then we'll go over to this front entrance, place four stone brick blocks on each side. And then an upside down stone brick stair on each side. Then we'll place another layer of stone bricks across the top. We'll go one block back and just place some spruce planks. And then our spruce doors inside, so just place two spruce doors and then surround the rest with trap doors. And then to the left of the door, build up five stone bricks. And five here as well. Then we're gonna start building up this wall, but leave a two by two window on the third and fourth block up. And that's two blocks away from the door. Place five more and then another two by two window. So it should be two blocks away from the other window and two blocks away from the edge. Next place campfires on top of both windows and extinguish them. And place two chains hanging from each campfire. Then place two trap doors at the bottom of those chains. And then from the inside we'll place some shutters. So I'm just placing two trap doors on each window. Next we'll place some items on the window sills. On the left one I'll just place a lantern, and on the right one I'll place a cake and a flower pot. On the left side here I'll place a fence post at the top, a chain, and then a lantern on the chain. Next we're going to go with one more layer of chiseled stone bricks at the top. So you should have one layer of chiseled stone bricks at the bottom, five layers of regular stone bricks, and then one more layer of chiseled stone bricks for a total of seven layers. So next, go ahead and fill in these two walls on the right side and the back side, following that same pattern. So on top of those chiseled stone bricks, place five more layers of stone bricks, and then one more layer of chiseled stone bricks. And once you've done that, it should look like this. Again, that's seven layers, so one layer of chiseled stone bricks, five layers of stone bricks, and then one more layer of chiseled stone bricks. For this little part right here, build it up the same way. Then when we get to the back side wall right here, we're going to have some windows. So fill in the first layer of stone bricks. And for the next level, place two stone bricks, skip two, and then place three. Skip two again, and then place one more. Now build this stone brick up an additional three blocks. Then at the top of each of those window gaps, place two upside down stairs, so we should have an arch window like this. Then just place another layer of chiseled stone bricks. So here's what the spacing should look like from the inside in case you were confused. And now for this side, which is the left side, just build up five layers of stone bricks on top of that chiseled stone brick. And then one more layer of chiseled stone bricks to make a stone brick sandwich. Now for this wall, which is on the front left side, you can start by filling in the first layer of stone bricks. Then on the next layer, we're going to have a two block wide window. So place four blocks on the left side, and then you have a two block wide window, and then five blocks of stone bricks on the right side. So it's four, then two, and then five. Now we can start building up the stone brick, just skipping that window gap. Then at the top, place two upside down stairs, so it's the same arch window as on the back side. And finally, just place that chiseled stone brick on top. Next, go two blocks over from the left side, place a chiseled stone brick, skip four and place another, and then build up with stone bricks to the top of that wall. Then place an upside down stair facing out on each one, with slabs in between. Place full blocks here and then two upside down stairs. Place two full blocks on each side and then stone brick walls in between. This will be a little balcony that you can get up to from the second level. Next place a spruce fence on each side and then two chains on each side hanging off. 
Then make a little shelf using four upside down spruce stairs. And on the inside I'm going to make some shutters out of spruce trapdoors. And you can place your trapdoors like this to make both shutters closed if you want. But you can also use a placeholder block and place the trapdoors like so to leave one open. And I think this looks a lot better from the outside because you get a little view of the inside. Anyway, I'm also going to place some shutters on these back windows, and again you can decide whether you want to have them open or closed. And also here in the back windows, I'm going to place some items on the windowsills. Let's start with the flower pot on the right one. And on the left one, I'll place a lantern and a flower pot with a dead bush. Going back to this front window, let's place a flower pot with a mushroom and a lantern. Now the final step for our stone brick parts, and this is optional, but I'm just going to replace some of these full blocks with stairs to make it look like missing bricks and give it a more rustic vibe. If you want to, you can also mix in some cracked and mossy stone bricks. So I'll put this on a faster speed now, I'm just going to do this all the way around the build. So that's all of our stone brick parts, but before we move on, I'll just do a quick little fly around so you can see anything that you might have missed. So now we're going to start working on our upper walls, starting with some spruce planks around the edges. So start one block inwards from the front side and place spruce planks across, stopping one block away from the side. We'll take these spruce planks all the way across and place them on top of these cracked stone bricks. Then stop one block short and go around this corner one block inwards. Place them on top of these chiseled stone bricks and you can place some on this balcony, four blocks here. And then go around this final corner one block inwards. So I know that can be a bit confusing, so I'll just fly around here so you can see it again. Alright, so next we're going to start placing barrels on top of all those spruce planks we just placed. And these barrels will basically just be the trim for the inner walls on our upper levels. So when you get to right here, place two spruce doors instead of barrels so you can get out to the balcony. And then two trap doors on top. And these doors should be in line with the window down below. And then we'll just continue our barrels all the way around these spruce planks. Alright, now it's time to actually get started on our upper walls. And we'll start with the front side above the door. So place an upside down spruce stair on the edge. Skip four and place another. Skip four and place another. And then skip four more and place one more on the far side. Then place a vertical oak log here, and then go across with horizontal logs. And place another vertical one on this end. And then from either side, we'll place vertical oak logs in line with those upside down stairs, and four fence posts in between each one. So it should look like this. Then we're going to build up each of those vertical logs up by an additional log, with four sideways logs in between each section. So this is what you should have now. And then we're going to build up five more logs on top of each vertical log. Then place a placeholder block and we'll place sideways logs going all the way across on the next layer up. So it should look like this. And you see we have these three sections. On the two side sections we're going to make diagonal beams using stairs. So just place upside down and normal stairs going from one corner to the other. And we'll repeat this on the other side. Just don't do it in that middle section. So for the middle section, on these horizontal logs, place four upside down stairs, and then we'll place four fence posts on each side, and four slabs at the top of those fence posts, and then four more slabs one block back. So we basically have a little shelf here that'll go around our window. On the next level up, one block inwards, place a full spruce plank, then place an upside down stair with a full plank on top, and we'll just continue going up with this pattern until you get to the center. 
and we should be at the center now. And once you get to the center, go on the other side and do the same thing. So these two little diagonal beams, or whatever you call them, will meet up in the center and just place two blocks on top. So that's like the outside layer for our walls, and then we'll build the inside layer which will be made out of white terracotta. So go back on the inside here, and then on top of the barrels, start by placing our white terracotta. We'll build up two levels of this. And on the third level, just leave a two block wide gap right in the center. And that gap will be three blocks tall, so we'll have a two by three window. And you can just place some glass panes in there right now. Then we're going to build up our white terracotta until we get one block below that sideways log. And then behind that sideways log, just place spruce planks. Then above that, we'll follow the same shape with our white terracotta, but leave a two block wide and three block tall gap for a door right in the center. So two spruce doors and then two spruce trap doors on top. And we'll just have a little balcony out there. Let's just finish up the white terracotta. Again, following the same shape as those spruce planks and stairs. Now on the balcony, we'll make a little railing out of oak trap doors. So place two oak trap doors on each side with four blocks of space in between. Then we'll need some placeholder blocks so we can place the oak trap doors on the outside. And just go ahead and flip those. And finally on the shelf below the window, I'm just going to place some leaves. I'm using azalea leaves, but you can really use any leaves. Alright, so that's our front wall, and I'll just pause for a second in case you need to see it again. So next we're going to go directly across to this back side, and it's basically all the exact same, the only difference is this balcony. Instead of the balcony, we're going to have a window. So let's go to the back side here, and we'll start with our upside down stairs, and we'll place a total of four with four blocks in between each one. Next place a vertical log, and then a sideways log going all the way across, one more vertical log on the end. Then four more logs with four fence posts in between each one. Then we'll build each of those logs up by one with sideways logs in between. And then build those vertical logs up by an additional five. And then one block above and one block inwards will have a big sideways log. And again, we're going to have our diagonal beams using stairs and upside down stairs on the two outside sections. And then for the inside section, four upside down stairs and then four fence posts on each side. And then our roof, a layer of slabs, and then another layer of slabs behind. And then up here, you're just placing full blocks with an upside down stair in this pattern until you get to the center. And then we'll do it again from the other side so they should meet in the center. And that's that outside layer. I'll pause for a second and then we'll do the inside layer, which is the terracotta. Okay, so it's all the same on the front side to start. So just place the terracotta all the way across those barrels, two blocks high. Then on the third level up of terracotta, we'll just leave a two block wide window. That'll be three blocks tall, so we'll place our glass panes in there. Then continue with the terracotta. And on the level of the sideways log, place spruce planks. Then we'll continue with our terracotta. This time go all the way across on the first level. Then we'll leave a two by two window on the next level. Just place our glass panes in there and then finish up the terracotta. So that's our front and back window, but before you jump down, let's place some items below that top window. So let's place a lantern and then a couple of flower pots with saplings. And on the shelf below this lower window, I'll place some leaves again. Okay, so that's it for this back wall. Let's just pause here for a second. And next we're going to do this wall right here, and from the front side, this wall is on the right side. So start by just placing a sideways log all the way across on top of this chiseled stone bricks. 
and we'll place a total of three logs with four fence posts in between each one. And we'll build each vertical log up an additional five, so it should be one block shorter than those front logs. Then place horizontal logs in between above those fence posts. And at the top two. So now in each of these sections we're going to place diagonal beams. Starting on this one, place a stair, upside down stair, and then just keep going with those stairs and upside down stairs until you get to the other corner. And we're going to build the same diagonal beam in each section, just flipped horizontally each time. Alright, so that's what all of our diagonal beams should look like. And then for the inside layer, we're just going to fill it all in with our terracotta up to the sideways log. Alright, so there it is. I'll just pause for a second in case you need to see it again. And next we're going to work on the wall on the left side. Start by placing an upside down stair, a total of four of them with three blocks in between each one. Place a vertical log and then a sideways log. And one more vertical log on the other end. Then we'll place our logs on top of those upside down stairs with three fence posts in between each one. And then build each of those vertical logs up by an additional one with sideways logs in between. Next build each vertical log up by an additional five. And then over one and up one we'll place a horizontal log. Underneath place three fence gates in each section. And then above we're going to place these full blocks and upside down stairs just like we've been doing. But this time since we have an odd number of blocks just place two full blocks when you get to the center. So that's what our outside details should look like and now we'll just go on the inside layer and build up our terracotta. So build up these first two layers. Then in between each three wide section we'll have a one wide three tall window. So just place some glass panes in there and then build up your terracotta around each window. Then at the level of the sideways log just place your spruce planks. Then on the next level place your terracotta but leave a one block wide two block tall gap and place some glass panes in there for a window and then build up the rest of your terracotta. Now before you jump down, let's place some items on this little shelf here. I'm just going to place two flower pots with two different flowers in them. So that's our left side wall, and again I'll just pause in case you need to see it again. Next we'll go over to this back wall here, and this one is pretty simple. Just start with our horizontal logs going across on top of the chiseled stone bricks, and place a vertical log in the corner. Then place three fence posts, then two in a vertical log. Then four fence posts, another log, and then two more fence posts. Next build up each vertical log an additional one, and then sideways logs in between. And then we'll build up each of these vertical logs an additional four, so they should be one block shorter than those other logs. Then we'll place horizontal logs in between at the top. And on the inside layer, place in your first two layers of terracotta. Fill this into the horizontal log, and you can start filling this in except we'll have a 2x2 two two window in the center of that 4 block wide section, so let's just place some glass panes in there and then fill up the terracotta to the horizontal logs. So this is what it should look like from the outside, and I'll just pause here for a second. Next we're going to go around to the front and start doing this front left side. Start by building up 7 logs in this corner, so it should be 1 block less than that other log. Place three horizontal logs here, and then another horizontal log going across. Place three fence posts here, and then place two fence posts and a log. Skip this four block section where the balcony is, and then place two more fence posts and a log. One more log, and then two sideways logs. Two sideways logs here, three here, and then one more vertical log. Then we'll build this log up by an additional four, and two more sideways logs at the top. Let's make a diagonal beam using upside down stairs and stairs. 
Then we'll do the same here, so build this up four and two sideways logs in between. And then our diagonal beam out of stairs and upside down stairs. Place four sideways logs at the top here, and then four fence posts below. On this left fence post, I'll place a chain and then a lantern. And then for our railing, let's place fence posts all around here. And then build up an additional three fence posts in each corner for a total of four. So I need one more. Then place fence gates in between to connect it to the log and in between the fence posts. So the roof for our balcony will sit here. Next place three sideways logs here, and then we'll do the inside terracotta. Build up these first two layers and then these two. So we'll just have a one by two window in the center of that three block wide section. And then on this side, just fill in the terracotta going around the door and up to the height of those horizontal logs. Okay, so that's all of our upper walls and now we're ready for the roof. Before we move on to the roof though, I'll just do another fly around so you can see anything that you might have missed. So our roof will be made out of cobble deep slate. We'll start here on our front side and place a top slab and then full cobble deep slate blocks on top of the spruce frame. Once you get up to the top, just work your way down. One more block here and then a top slab. And then we'll place our cobble deep slate walls on top of all of those full blocks. So we're gonna place this on top of our spruce frame and then the rest of the roof will be made out of stairs. So let's start here with a top slab and then a stair on top. And from here we'll just go up with stairs and upside down stairs until you get to the center and then we'll do the same thing on the other side. And on this side, again, we'll start with a top slab and then our stairs and upside down stairs until you meet the roof from the other side at the top. And this pattern of stairs and upside down stairs is basically what we'll use to fill in the entire roof except for what's above our spruce frames. So going around to the back side, we're going to repeat this, starting with a top slab and then full blocks on top of our spruce frame. Then go back down and one more top slab on the end. And then place walls on top of all those full blocks. And then we'll have our stair frame sticking out by one. And the final frame we have left to do is on the left side. Again, we'll start with our full blocks with the top slab on each end. And then walls on top of the full blocks. Then a slab here and then our stair and upside down stair frame sticking out by one. At the top here we'll just place a slab and then go back down. And then place all of your upside down stairs underneath. So from here we're just basically filling in the rest using our stairs. So start by placing top slabs at the top of those horizontal logs. And then stairs on top. And from here it's pretty simple, you're basically just filling in those stairs in line with the full blocks until you fill in the entire roof. So we're going to switch over to the third person replay mod camera and I'm going to do this on a faster speed. So one thing to know here, the left side since it's an odd number of blocks, just place slabs at the top of the frame. Oh, and one more thing, if you're going to be following my interior video, then I wouldn't recommend placing the upside down stairs underneath just yet, because we might want to do something different with the inside. But if you're not going to be following my interior, then feel free to just place those upside down stairs underneath.
Alright, so there's just one final thing for our roof, which is a chimney. So go to this corner and go one, two, and then on the third one break that. Place a cobblestone block there and then break these three so we'll have a two by two chimney. And it'll be built out of a mixture of cobblestone and stone bricks. So build it up four blocks high. And I mean four full blocks, so there's the one that's cut off by the stairs and then after that it's one, two, three, four. And then on top place some campfires and surround them by spruce trapdoors. So there's actually one more thing for the roof that I nearly forgot, and that is the balcony roof. So go over to the balcony and start by placing two stairs on each side. Then on each side place an upside down stair and a normal stair. Two slabs in between. Then replace this slab with a full block on each side. And place a stair next to it. Then break out these two slabs and place two upside down stairs on each side. Then I'll place a stair here and one on the other side. And I'm just going to turn this stair so they connect. Okay, so next we're going to build the water wheel. And like I mentioned at the beginning, it'll be on the left side. So hopefully you have a river there or you build your own stream. As you see, I don't have one. So I'm just going to dig out a little stream really quick. Next, go over to the side here and find the center. And then on the third block above the ground, place a sideways log going all the way across the river. Then where the log meets the house, we'll surround it by stone bricks. On the layer above the log, place two stairs on each side, a full block in between, and then a slab on top. And on the other side of the river, place three stone bricks on the bottom, and then surround it by walls, but nothing on top. And as for the wheel itself, we're actually going to have two wheels. There will be one block of space in between them, and just try to build them in the center of the river. So the wheel itself is actually pretty confusing, and rather than trying to explain it, which would probably just confuse you more, I made this little graphic that you can build it from. And just a reminder, you're building two wheels with one block of space in between. And once you have your two wheels in place, we're just going to connect them using spruce trapdoors. So on the flat ends of these stairs, we'll just place a trapdoor on each one, and then a placeholder block to place one in between. And we're just going to do this on all four sides, or corners, of a wheel. I don't know. But yeah, do it on all four sides. Okay, so next we're going to build the stables. And like I mentioned before, I don't have enough space to do it here, so I'm going to show you how to build it on a flat world. So here's a copy of our house, and we're just going to fly over here to the right side. Now from the left of the right side, go over four blocks and on the fifth one place a log and build it up five blocks high. Skip four and build another five block high log. Then we'll fill in the first three layers with fences. Place sideways logs on the fourth level and then another one on the sixth and extend that one out by one and then place four fences in between. Place a stair on the end here. Then we're going to skip four blocks and build a seven block tall log. And another one here against the wall. One block from the top, place a sideways log with fence posts on top. Then another sideways log that extends out by one with a stair underneath. And then you can fill this in with fence posts. Next go over four blocks and build a five block tall oak log and then over four again and do the same. And then a horizontal log that extends out by one with a stair underneath. Another horizontal log one block below the top with fence posts above. And then fill this in with fence posts. Next up, in each of these two gaps, place a fence post on each side and then two fence gates in the middle. Next on the six block up, we'll place a horizontal log on both sides and one in the back too. Then we'll place three spruce planks with one on top in the center on each side. So it's four planks in an L shape. And we'll do this on the front too. Then we'll start on our roof, starting with a row of top slabs. Then another row of slabs. Then a row of full blocks. And then a row of bottom slabs with top slabs underneath. Full blocks again. And then those bottom slabs with the top slabs underneath. And our top row will be full blocks. And then we'll do the same roof on the other side.
Next we're going to make the floor for our stables. It'll be mostly coarse dirt with some pods all around the center. And we're just going to mix this all in randomly so it blends with the grass. And I'm also going to have the coarse dirt spilling out the edges of the stables. And then we'll go over to the other side and do the same thing with that coarse dirt and puzzle. For our final decorations, we'll start by placing some horses in there. Then we'll add a lantern on a chain on each side. Alright, so that's it for our stables, and now we'll go back to the other world for some final details. So let's start by making a path leading out the front door using a mix of cobblestone and mossy cobblestone. And I'm just going to mix it in with the grass and make it look random and natural. So extend this path out as far as you'd like to, and then we're just going to add some stone buttons over the top. And I'm also going to add some cobblestone and mossy cobblestone around the river where our water wheel is. Alrighty, and now our final decoration will just be to add some leaves around the house. And just like I did with those window shelves, I'm using azalea leaves, but you can really use any leaves. And I'm also going to add some leaves hanging from some parts on the second story. So that's it for the exterior of our big cottage. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to subscribe and all that other good stuff, and stay tuned because the interior is coming soon.